So this one I'm going to be finding the equations of log functions. So you're given a graph, something like that, and you're asked to find the equation of it. Now, in a question like this, uh, you're always going to be told that it's of a certain form. So you might be told it's of the form a ln x plus b. Or you might be told it's of the form um, y equals a ln x um, plus b, with like the b not in the brackets. In any case, you're going to be told what form it's in. Okay. Um, now, when I look at a question like this, I don't know how to solve it, but I do know that I've got some points given here. That's the information I've been given. So the logical thing to do is to take those points and sub them in uh, to your equation, and then do next steps. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to sub in 5, 0. For, that's, that's the x value, and that's the y value. So I'm going to say 0 equals a ln. 5 plus b. Uh, that's a pretty good step, but not immediately apparent I'm going to be able to do anything with that, but I'll just leave it as it is for now. And I'm also going to sub that one in. Uh, so that's the x value, that's the y value. So 1 equals a ln uh, 8 plus b. Okay, now we've got some information here. And I've got two equations, so you might be thinking to yourself, a uh, simultaneous equation might be an idea here. Um, if we do head down the path of simultaneous equations with these log functions, we might end up in a bit of trouble. Sometimes you do have to do it, uh, but we can look for another way forward. So I'll just call this equation 1, equation 2. I'm not doing a simultaneous equation, but I am going to look at this one more closely. Uh, I'm just going to start sort of tinkering with it. 0 equals a ln 5 plus b. Now the problem is that there's two variables. If I can get rid of one, I might have a bit of a chance here. And I'm going to do that in a sneaky way. This is a times ln 5 plus b. If I divide by a on both sides, I get 0 divided by a. Like that. Um, now 0 divided by a, 0 divided by anything is 0. And just like that, the A's disappeared. Okay. Now, you should know that uh, LN stands for log base E. So this actually says, I'll just write it over here, 0 equals log base E, 5 plus B. So I can rearrange this, I can write this in exponential form. That's going to be the same as E to the power of 0, uh, e equals 5 plus b. e to the power of 0 equals 5 plus b. Okay, e to the power of 0. It's a number to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. Uh, and then b is going to be equal to 1 minus 5. b is going to be equal to negative 4. Okay, I know what b is. That's a really good start. Um, now, I could try putting that into back into that equation. If I do that, I don't think I'm going to go anywhere because of that zero. So I'm going to have to sub it into equation uh, two instead. Sub b, uh, negative four for b into equation two. All right, so we have one equals uh, a ln 8 minus 4. 1 equals a ln 4. Uh, what can I do with that now? Uh, I guess I could uh, divide by ln 4 if I could say it's a is equal to 1 on ln 4. Now you could uh, type 1 on ln 4 into your calculator. But it's just going to be some weird, weird decimal. Uh, but we can just keep it like that. If this was a non-calculated test, we're actually kind of finished now. Because we've got an A value and we've got a B value. And so we can give our final answer for the equation. We can say that Y is equal to A, which is 1 on LN4, uh, LN X minus 4.
And that is my answer to that question. Um, now, unfortunately, there are many different ways that these sorts of questions can take shape. Uh, I'm going to do one more question that doesn't use some of that, it uses some other skills. So I'm just going to rub all this off and, and start again. But that is one way to find equations of the law functions. So a different question here, same sketch. Um, so now we know a little more information or different information. I'm telling you the asymptote is x equals 3, and there is one point, 28.2. We don't know what that point is. Now, find the equation of the form y equals a ln x plus b. Now, you need to use your knowledge of log functions here. You should be able to tell me what one of either a or b is straight away. If we look at that asymptote, it represents the, the uh, horizontal shift. So, that tells us our b value straight away. b equals, no, opposite of that, negative 3. Because asymptote. So that's pretty straightforward. Y equals a ln x uh, minus 3. Uh, from here, it's a really straightforward process. We need to find out what a is. We can see that there's a point 28 on 2, 28, 2. Uh, there's that x and our y value. So I can sub that into my equation. Sub 28 on 2. So we have 2 equals ln 28 minus 3, 2 equals ln 25, oh there's an A there isn't there? That's the thing we're trying to find in the first place. Um, and then, pretty straightforward now, we know that A is going to be equal to 2 on ln 25. Really, the end of the question. Now we know everything we need to know. Uh, therefore, y equals two on ln twenty-five um, ln x minus three. Okay, there are other things that you might need to do here. There might be equations in other forms, but the rules are always the same. Look at the equations. See if you can use the information you've been given to fill in one of the blanks and then go from there. But you do have to think, because I can't go through all of the ways that these questions might be posed.